Hey guys, welcome back to Vitamin Y. So today is Friday, and that of course means that we are using Super Vicey Bell. So, I said I was going to kick the deck off, I was frustrated with it, it wasn't working, and that was my fault. That was my fault, I tried to make the deck like Zombie Vice, and those aren't the same deck. So, it went back to the roots, we're, we're, we're right back to where we started from, uh, getting back to the, the good, juicy revival that you know and love with this deck. So hopefully... Uh, this can go okay. We started off with a fine hand, actually. You know, that Foolish saved it. That Foolish is looking is looking kind of dire, but that Foolish saved it. So, uh, we're still running Butter Spy because I feel like Butter Spy helps make the, you know, the, the you know, the love load chain and stuff like that, the plays like that. But, uh, like, as you can clearly see, we got a ton of revival. We are going to take it to our opponent, hopefully, uh, once we get set up. So, we're going to sit on Terra for a little while. And uh, hopefully see how this goes down. Oh, okay. Well, clearly we're going against something hat related. Something. Something. Well, good luck, have fun. I'm using the back rows. Sure. So he decided to grab, uh, opponent decided to grab the MST over warning. Like, you really want to just blind space one of my back row, don't you? On the chain. Response. Yeah. Response. You got another MST? Okay. Uh, so many bell. Your bell, of course, will die, and I will get tear. And with tear, we will be able to sit and wait. Hopefully, be able to sit and wait and ponder about how we're going to set this up. So. Wow. Alright, what was the point of that? I asked you for a response. You could have just chained the MST to my car. I, I, MST, chain, limit reverse, chain MST. And I would have got nothing. But instead, you decided to let it go through because I guess you assumed that the rest of my back row is going to be much scarier. Okay. Uh, uh, you know, you already had an MST, therefore you grab another MST? Um, three MSTs. Alright. Three fucking MSTs. If you, if you had... Three M I mean two MSTs. Why? Oh my God! Grab the third one. Like, was that really worth it? Okay. Like, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense to me. I have two MSTs. I guess. I guess. That's all I have to say about that. I guess. So, I'll increase the, the the revival and it all gets blown away in the wind, literally. <laughs> like, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. Yeah. Armageddon. Alright, well, we can clearly get uh, set up. We can get Doom, Drop Doom Shaman and Tinker with this one play right now. So, normal seven. Uh, I'm gonna do effect, and I'm gonna chain, uh, Butter Spy. Oh, I guess. I guess, I guess, I guess. Alright, so we got Doom Shaman, we're gonna make a Levalo chain, drop Tinker. Uh, I'm not really a big fan, I'm being a less and less a fan of, of, um, Emerald, to tell you the truth. Uh, the whole emerald play has just been really anticlimactic lately. Alright. This whole duel is just one big old troll to you. Well, I didn't get Tinker to the graveyard. That sucks. Really wanted Tinker to the grave, but he just threw the fucking veiler at me. Like I said, this whole duel has been kind of a troll, so... Like, look at that. Look at that. Well, the good thing is, I don't have, at least I don't have to worry about Limit Reverse anymore. I mean, Limit Reverse MST anymore. So, that's fine. Swing of Memories. Well, Swing of Memories is great if I were to drop Tinker. Like I said, I need Tinker. Once we get Tinker in the grave, we can start going. Of course, like usual, I don't trust his back row. Nah, I'm okay. I was thinking about summoning someone, someone Monkey pitching it, but 
I'm okay right now. So I don't even know what fucking deck he's playing right now. Finally set the monster. Well, right now, I can... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Definitely up on resources. I can go Summoner Monk, Pitch Dark Call, Summon Armageddon, I Drop Tinker, XC, Exiton. I'd have 1, 2, 3, 4 cards. It's not a terrible play. I'm going to go I'm gonna go for it. Almost seven. What? No. Especially since I don't need Dark Call right now, since I have a walking Dark Call right here. So I'm okay right now. I'll pay costs. Alright, I'm guessing it's fine. Okay, you're playing a Feg Veilers too? Get a little bit suspicious of your plays. Get my effect. You got three back row, you play Feg Veiler. I'm getting a little bit suspicious of your plays. I'll go ahead and drop you. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and go for Exiton. If it doesn't go through, Hey, at least I used up a back row that he could have used on something else in my place. I was, I was thinking, I was like, it was like he probably, despite potting and revealing that pod duality, I mean, I mean, pod duality and revealing that Salmori, he probably got it back. That thought was going through my head. I was like, I wonder if this number generator is nice enough to go pot, shuffle it back, I mean, yeah, warning, shuffle it back, draw it again. So, clearly, yes, it was, so. In phase, uh, go for it. So it's hat. It's clearly hat. It's hat 100% hat. How do you hat, 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 hat. And I don't like hat. I don't like hat and I don't like that. Go ahead and go and cast out. Black ship, sure. To get my effect though. Castell would have been a better choice. At least I have to worry about warning. I have to worry about warning and I have to worry about MST. So we're just picking off cards that I don't have to worry about. This hat disgusting. Broke charge. Broke charge, warning, triple MST, my opponent is not fucking around. XC into. This isn't looking bad, this is a general hat. They play you and they one up you until you run out of resources, and clearly I'm running out of resources in this duel. You know, those triple MSTs on my fucking revival did not help at all. <laughs> at all. I'm again tonight. Well, I don't need that. Alright, well, this is my last play. If he stops this, it's over. Clearly, it's over. Okay. Bottomless, of course. Oh, you got it. You got it. Real. Look at that. Look at that. Triple MST, Soul Charge, Warning, Bottomless. Just out the ass generator. Soul charge, like, god damn. Alright, alright. I see you. I see you. Fucking the number generator god was on your side. Like, damn. I was thinking he probably had bottomless, but hey, what can I do, right? Absolutely nothing. I don't even want to type that. I hate I hate good luck, have fun. I hate that. Good luck, have fun. I'm using hat, like that's not fun. Nothing in hat is fun. Why did you draw a third? Why 
did you draw a six card? Oh my god. Like really? I thought we we we've been through this. It's been months. No, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's been months. It's been like a year. I I don't know, but it's been a cool minute. Months. No, 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 no. You go first, you draw five. I draw them to my six. Like, you know, they tried to balance out this game. Like, oh. You know? So I'm guessing you just thought that automated draw was broken and you decided to go ahead and just draw the six card. You felt like, oh, it's not working. I guess I just gotta do it myself. Like, no. There's probably a reason why it did that. <sighs> no. Lots of revival. That's it. So. Some I'm again tonight. Right. If we can get everything to the graveyard, we can get Tinker and Doom Shaman to the graveyard. We can get it started. We just need to get Tinker and Doom Shaman to the graveyard. So clearly, we drop Doom Shaman. That's always the first one to go. When push comes to shove. I can always swing and summon Doom Shaman to run over the Deborah. Just don't trust the back row. Like usual. So Hat and Blackwing. So. Next that are just notorious for the back row. Okay. There's really no reason to do that, but sure. <coughs> uh. Alright, well, triple swinging. Some stricken. Supervise, we're leaving it large. I'll just take it a little slow. I got the life points to spare. No. Hmm. Okay. Well, here comes a lot of fucking damage. XC and two. Ah, <sighs> my other revival would be much better. You know. Calls, Oasis's, like all I have to do is just summon the freaking uh, Armageddon Knight, send Tinker, and then we get started, so. Alright, you're synchroing. Oh. Forgot that was a card. Ouch. Both my life points are pretty much gone. One, two, three. Terrible mills. To a terrible draw. <laughs> ah, I would have took any of those cards over what I have right now. No, not the reverse. That's not really that beneficial. Well, ah. Uh, well, that's it. I didn't draw into what I needed to. Looks like I still need to work on the balance of this deck, or or DM just doesn't it just wants to be a dick to me, which is pretty clear. It's pretty clear DM likes to be a dick to me, especially with Super Vice lately. Oh. It's fine, hand. See, one revival card compared to this, this is the problem with this deck. I'm having a hard time getting the balance right. You now, sometimes we get all the revival and none of the sending. Sometimes we get all the sending and none of the revival. Alright, chain. So, that's the problem that we're having. So, we got everybody to the graveyard. Well, we ain't got everybody. We got you bound to the graveyard. But we're going to have the two ones that I want in the graveyard to the graveyard. So, we can get it started. We got the Sooner Memories. So we can go ahead and do that. Uh, 
All right, let's see what we're facing today. I see that you got him on your picture, so we're we going against Bujin bitches. I guess the sun in the well. So Bujins. Rota. All right, Telenites. Not a lot of decks that play Rota, so probably Telenites. In which case, I probably lose because they only get out of resource. No, XX Sabers. All right, it's been a cool minute since I've seen them. The X Sabers. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Hey, you can sink her into seven. I don't know who the fucking seven is, but you can. Who the fuck is seven? It has to be an X Saber monster. Oh, Soza. Alright. Forgot about Sosa. Totally forgot about him. Who's that girl, huh? Alright, well. I think I'm gonna be taking a little slow, but I don't know. I don't know. So, like usual with Supervisor, but I'm very susceptible to background, so. Yeah. Strength wise, strong, aggressive wise, very, but you know, I just get completely shut down by background. And phase MST? Yep, I saw it coming. Ah. <sighs> Remember when Supervice was the tits? And I would be winning and kicking butt all the time. Good times. Good times. Ah. <sighs> I wonder if that's like Gotham's call face down or something. It starts off and just worse. I was thinking he maybe had that phase MST, but I, tried, I wanted to go for the safer place and you go and hit the limit reverse instead, but that wasn't the right choice. Alright. Take, take 11. And I take 200. Do you remember if you could trip one of them again? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, back row. Okay. Guess he wanted to get it out of there in case he would get killed. So that's fine, I guess. I really want to just bait out all the back row <laughs> and get a uh, butter spy. That's the reason why I'm running butter spy because I can rotor search it and go into the XC place. So, uh, I'm going to normal summon. I'm going to reveal. Special summon D. Overlay into the 101. The 101? I could go for Exiton, actually. Like, fuck it, if I'm gonna go for anything, I might as well go for Exiton, right? Yep. Alright, I thought it was gonna be bottom of I would change. Thinking it was bottom of it was bottom of the fucking Doom Shaman, I would have got wrecked, so. That was the safer play. Exitoning was a safer play. I was thinking about 101, but Exitoning is a safer play. So. That bottomless, though. What's up with bottomless showing up today? 
Really, you're really out for my goddamn Doom Shaman, aren't you? I hate that you came back in popularity. Are you a Beast Warrior? Yeah, you're a Beast Warrior, so that's 2,000. And you're just a regular warrior, so that's 13. No Solza? Oasis, cool. Alright, swing time. I have to wait, swing. So I'm in Doom Shaman. Uh, should I go for Ebel? Should I go for Terra? Yeah, I'm gonna go for Terra, because I know he has another warrior in his hand, so... Use my normal summon for effect, effect, and some e bell. Oh, and Doom Shaman is destroyed. E bell is destroyed. Effect. I'll go ahead and summon Terror. Effect. Go ahead and wipe all your monsters. So. I know one card in your hand that you're drawing into your second. Okay. No. So now I got Terra on the field. Now I can play Oasis, so it's some Doom Shaman, Doom Shaman, some Tinker, Sink in the field. Then I can, you know, I have defense while I have offense. Unless he gets rid of my Terror, in which case I would suck. I hate being down on resources. Also, remember when X was in their prime, they would kick the shit out of me. So, I need to redeem myself. Oh, so you top decked into a bear? Wow, you don't even want to throw the chair at me? Wow, and drawn to a fucking all through nightmare too. All right, activate Oasis. Okay. I'm like really, if you would have bear throw the chair, I would have drawn the ultimate nightmare. But thanks. Like, deck. I get it. You don't like me. DN. I get it. You don't like me. Here's my normal summon for that. We'll go ahead and summon Tinker. We'll sink eight. The Oasis does go bye bye. We'll go right into Beals. Perfect. Show me a revival card. No. Right. Show me another card that I can't normal summon. Like Ultimate Nightmare. Right. 13. Uh, uh, game 104. Thank you. You were 1700 attack, night 16. So you got one face down card, you had a monster in your hand. You need to gain, you need to gain 100. There was seventeen. No, sixteen. Uh I'll go ahead. And my turn. Terra wet the field, but Bales can't be destroyed by card effects, of course, so stays. Brainwash cow. Alright. Yep. Bogart Knight. Summon Rashui. Should I Sigra summon into something? Vulcan. Vulcan would be pretty good. Vulcan, bounce back your tanky. Bounce back my... That's a tough choice. <laughs> Either way, you're still in trouble, so... If you're running Vulcan, then Vulcan would be the best right now. Oh, I was thinking it was Gotham's call. Emergency call. I was thinking it was that. Alright, get Bulgart. Alright, trying to see what you're gonna do. 
Seed 9. Miss one? Definitely not Trisha, though. So. It's one. No, if you're sticking. Oh, you can't. You can't. It has to be for an X Saber monster, so it would be go uh, Goddams. Which is totally fine. I don't give a shit on Goddams. <laughs> You're totally about to sink nine right into like a missile or something, but you can't. Except some of these guys. Is he a tuner? No, he's a tuner. He's a tuner. All right. Oh, you couldn't sink a home with him because he's also a tuner. Unless Gotham says something else. I can't remember what Gotham says. You can go into another Soza. You can go into the level six guy. I think that. One blows up background, right? Up to three. I think. I don't know much about fucking X Sabers. No, drawing an ultimate nightmare was not the ideal draw. It's probably like the least ideal draw in the fucking entire deck. <laughs> I draw anything than fucking ultimate nightmare at this time. Not my opponents over here having flashbacks and shit. If you want to go into Gotham's, go into Gotham's. Want to use your effect, tribute, fucking take my card out of my hand? I don't give a shit. Take all, take out Ultimate Nightmare out of my fucking hand. Take it. I do not need Ultimate Nightmare. The only time Ultimate Nightmare is even going to be remotely useful if I draw into a Dark Graffer. I have two more Dark Graffers and one more Rota. So. Yeah, I want to draw to another that next turn. I want a revival card. I want, I want an oasis, a call, a swing, a, a silent doom. A, well, I don't even take a limit of shit, just to reassure that my plays are gonna be fine, that I'm gonna be okay. You can leave it like that, or you can go ahead and go into Gotham's. I really don't give a shit. This guy's taking forever. Thank you. I'll take that. Alright. Just wipe it off. You don't need none of that. None of that. He gets whose effect during the end phase? Uh, no, that was the other guy I'm thinking of. Alright, go ahead. I was thinking of uh, uh, Dark Soul. Alright, cool. What's my next draw? Another call of the haunted. Cool. What's my next draw after that? More revival? Dark Graffer, I was thinking. So Mmm Let's say it's not the deck cooperating with me, it's DM not cooperating with me. Yeah. Especially that first opponent, like fucking I do not know what fucking random number generator fucking the number generator and gods have rained upon that fucking hat player. Like, what the fuck? Alright. I was like, oh, pot. Oh, he's revealed the warning. Like, oh, he's not gonna grab the warning? Like, okay. And then later in the duel, here's the warning. Like, of course. Like, you fucking shuffled that shit back into the deck, still get it. And the bottomless, and the soul chart, and the three MSTs. Like, god damn. Like, re fucking ridiculous. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and call up. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Armin Y. Like I said, the deck is as best as I can get it. Like I said, the deck is fine, it's consistent, it has a good revival. The deck is fine. It's just, if DN doesn't want to cooperate, and there ain't nothing I can do about that. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. So, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow using uh, U Bone Zector. So, I changed the deck around. It's gonna try to get another chance to uh, stay. So, uh, hopefully, uh, it can impress you guys, and hopefully, stay on Armin Y. Alright, thanks for watching.